Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. This is the Raspi Camcorder 2. It's based on the Raspberry Pi Model A, chosen because it uses less power than the Model B, and it uses the official Raspberry Pi camera module. Inside, there's a voltage regulator and a Bluetooth serial adapter, which lets you control the Raspi Camcorder from your phone or tablet, so there's no need for Wi-Fi when you're out and about. You can plug in a Wi-Fi dongle if you want, but for extended battery life, you don't need to. I'm using an Adafruit micro SD card adapter and a blue Syntec case, which I really like the colour of. On the front, I fitted two 52mm filter rings, which enables me to add things like close up lenses, other filters or attachments, even something as far out as a lens hood, that's a nice collapsible rubber one. Or a lens cap. Irresistible pun on that one. There's also the option to plug in a small screen for preview and playback. This is one of those small car reversing screens which plugs into the yellow RCA jack on the Pi. On the back we've got two buttons and an LED. When you press the blue button, it starts filming. And when you press the black button, it stops. And the LED lights while you're filming. Show you again. Watch the LED. Okay. I fitted the close-up lens for that last shot. The black button also doubles as uh, close the program or shut down the Pi camcorder because when you're out and about you need to be able to shut it down so a really long press on the black button will shut shut down and then you can start it up again by powering it up. It will automatically boot into video mode and you can make it boot into stills mode if you prefer. Now I'm going to switch on the Pi and it will boot into camcorder mode. It would still boot into camcorder mode without the screen attached, but that's just attached so you can see what's happening. Or at least you can see once the font enlarges. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay, it's ready. So let's just prove that's working. My shooting a little quick one. Okay. It can be used for stills or video, recording or streaming, but there's some rough edges to smooth out for streaming. When you're Wi-Fi connected, you can also have it send your photos or videos straight to your Dropbox account so they'll be almost instantly available on your computers, phones or other connected devices. Simon SimpleSci Walters asked for that feature to use in class. So let's show you the power down feature. If we press and hold the black button for a couple of seconds, you'll see the LED will start to pulse and that's telling me, and on the screen it also says shutting down. And it's going to shut down the Pi completely. And now we can disconnect the battery. If you decide you want to do something else, instead of video you can press the black button for a little while, just over a second, and those pulses mean that it's closing the program. You can see closing program message as well. So that enables us to log in via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and make it do something else which I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in stills mode now and show you how that works. So I'm going to use my Nexus and Bluetooth connect device, it's that one now connected if I type Pi and Raspberry
that will log me in and I can use that interface as a command line interface to control the Pi. So now we're going to take a photo. That's the stills program. So we'll pick up the camera and press the blue button. Takes a photo. But now on the screen you can see it shows you how much space is left. And now it's uploading that photo to my Dropbox account. Okay, that's done. Let's have a look on my phone. Dropbox. Oh, closed it. Dropbox. Number 79. Modified zero seconds ago. And there you go. That's the photo we just took. Uploaded to the phone in almost real time. Quite cool really. So as far as the software is concerned uh, we're using the excellent camera drivers for both photo and video written by James Hughes from Broadcom and the Pi Foundation and uh, on top of that I'm controlling it with some Python scripts that I wrote. So that's the Raspberry Camcorder Mark II. Hope you like it. Um, it's not quite ready for a, for me to release the scripts yet, but at some point that will definitely be happening. If you'd like to subscribe to the Raspberry TV YouTube channel, when the video finishes, click on the I and click subscribe. This was Alex Eames for Raspberry.tv. Thank you for watching.